Joining us in the Informer studio is a physiotherapist and uh, sports medicine guy who uh, we've met once before. His name is Kusa Gunawadna. Welcome to the Informer again, and this time in person. Uh, you've got some new technology you want to talk about. Uh, it's called Tactile Suits. How does it work? And where in heaven's name did you think this up from? So, George, first, there are a lot of people who needed to continue getting treatment. And uh, right now, because of COVID, there's a lot of people who can't get the treatment. And right now, also, there is the technology that allow us to treat people remotely or actually assess people remotely. We've sort of looked at this uh, in a different way where we can combine it with virtual reality. So what, what does this all mean? If you imagine someone wearing a bodysuit, yep. and the bodysuit has uh, little tiles, tactile uh, little tiles, and they each have little motors. Yeah. Now, that's the person wearing the suit. So you're over there, you're wearing the suit. Me, the practitioner, I've got my virtual reality goggles on. I've got my gloves. And as I'm seeing your body through the suit, and I'm manipulating or moving what it might be your shoulder, wow. which is virtual reality wise, and so then you would notice it and you would feel it. It's shades of avatar, where uh, in order to film avatar, they, they, they grab the actors, put them in a suit, uh, surrounded by electrodes or electrons, uh, electrodes rather, and then, then they paint it on with all the animation that was required to the, the animated figure that they create or the avatar that they created. But you can actually do that with a suit. We can because the technology is there right now. So it's the new part of my wardrobe that I have to attend to. Yes, well, you know, what wow. it'll mean is, you know, you're in the future when the world opens up again and we can travel. Okay. And you're in London, yeah. I'm in Melbourne. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you will think, oh, I've just gotten off the flight, Casal. you know, I've got this problem, can you sort it out? My back, my and shoulder. now we will be able to sort it out because you will be able to get treatment by your favourite therapist. You'll be able to uh, manipulate or electronically um, uh, tweak or, uh, or um, activate uh, uh, some stress or relief through this tactile suit. Exactly. That is space age. That is like Jules Verne wouldn't have thought about a tactile suit. But uh, who's, who's behind it? Who's pushing it? Uh, are we talking about big companies getting right behind this? So right now it's uh, our work, Elite Academy. Elite Academy. Uh, Elite Academy Sports Medicine. We're working with the University of Melbourne, so with the Department of Engineering, and we're looking at the virtual reality component. We've already started some of this by looking at the sensor technology, so that's going to be the first step that we're looking at. Virtual reality will be the next step. So things that we would mapping out over the next five to ten years, I honestly feel we'll have this within the next maybe two to three. I can see it as also as a particular burn for sport. For, I'm talking about elite sport now, um, where uh, they don't have to rush to get back to home base or to the medicos. You can almost attend to them after the game or just before the game to make sure that that back issue or that shoulder is as it should. And I suppose the readings on the tactile suit would give you some real indicator yes. if everything is A-OK. -okay, you know, all green or different colours would come up. And exactly. That's exciting. That's seriously exciting. And for the more remote parts of Australia, mm. again, you're offering them a terrific new service. Exactly. So as we create this, uh, my, my uh, dream is to have all of this technology provided to the general public at you know, a price point that is next to nothing. I was gonna say, how do we keep the price down? I think this is where we need to partner up with big companies. Uh, we need to partner up with people who are like-minded like us, who are there to help the wider community. You know, and there is make a, a difference. You know, there is a company out there, it's called Nike, and they just do it. Have you reached out to them or, or companies of that ilk? So at this stage, no, only because we're still in that development side. But because we're coming up with these kinds of uh, opportunities, you know, we'd quite uh, welcome speaking to some of these big companies and, uh, you know, making a difference. Look, I see it as a marriage of convenience. I really do. I mean, these major companies, whoever they might be, um, have always been pushing the envelope. Yes, there's a win for them, but this takes it to another level, I think. Um, 
you have this enormous capacity now with this te technology, for example, to access people who are hours away, miles away, countries away, and deal with a, with a challenge. I know, it, it, the, you know, everyday life, uh, mothers and fathers and uh, children, of course, we have to go to the doctors or we have to go to the physio or, or in the morning I got to go to work but I'd like to go and have a half an hour with my physio. Suddenly I put my tactile suit on and what would I do? Would I ring you or would you know the minute I put the suit on it's a lie? No, I think there would be some kind of uh, timing involved where you know I need to put my gear on and get ready and then you'd be ready and then obviously it's a, it's a connection. It's very much like a Zoom call, isn't it? You, you know, you, you're given the link and we both uh, speak at the same but time. Much more practical. <laughs> uh, there's, there's, some, uh, there's some extraordinary things. You talked about last time, the first time we spoke, was about this band-aid, mm. uh, this sports band-aid that you'd come up with. Let's just reiterate again the, the qualities of this particular band-aid and how you came up with it and what it's doing, because mm. it's already at play. Yes, so the band-aid technology is, if I'm sitting here like this, there's certain levels, uh, and some of my latest research has come out now showing that in 15 minutes, uh, if I'm in a sitting in with bad posture and majority of people are like this looking at their phone yeah, yeah. in 15 minutes we found that the back muscles don't work as well posture changes. affects how uh, our arms work and legs work so we've then developed a sensor technology to detect that for the regular public now i think uh, right now globally there's uh, the product out there it's about 400 to 600 dollars what we're trying to do is get this out to people for about 60 dollars and which is in infinitely more uh, accessible and changes everything, doesn't it? And it gives you awareness in real time. So once you have these band-aid sensors on and it'll come up on your phone saying, look, Kasal, you better sit up, you know? So it's a message that comes up. That's fantastic. It, 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 it uh, seems to me that it's yet another way, especially from your end, to see where inflammation points come up. And inflammation's a great a challenge for all uh, for all our health needs correct yes we need to keep the inflammation down everywhere whether it's gout or whether it's a a, a bad shoulder that i've tweaked um, that's remarkable it's uh, how, how is it going at the moment are you now still pushing it into sporting clubs and and other agencies so right now that too we're looking at combining uh with a, a company or, or two yep. to uh, get it out there so if there's a company mm -hmm. that grasps what we're grasping right now and is excited by it who do they reach out to who do they talk to they can reach out to me uh, uh they can have me as a as a starting point because then i can uh, showcase all yeah. of our work yep. and introduce all of our team from the university of melbourne okay. and i guess i can introduce them to all the major players what i want you to do next time we come into the informal studio is maybe get an opportunity for us to to see the tactile suit and you can bring your goggles and I know I want uh, the gloves, you can leave those at home, but it should be like, look, it's exciting. We're on the cutting edge now and to hear that you are thinking that far ahead and the possibilities are endless. It's terrific. Thank you very much for joining us. Kusal Gunawadna uh, giving us a sense of the future, but it's here today.